Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be going over a film grain effect in Final Cut Pro. Um, I was looking at uh, Future's new video directed by Travis Scott. I'm just trying to help you guys find the best way to recreate that kind of film grain filter in Final Cut Pro X. So um, let's get right into it. So I have two clips here, Hollywood sign and some people jet skiing. So we're just gonna go to our effects tab. And we're gonna type in noise and we're gonna click the add noise. I'm gonna drag those on both of our clips. And while we're at it, we can go to the blur tab and add Gaussian blur on both of our clips as well. All right, now for the editing process. So for our first clip, we can just go start off with the Gaussian blur amount. We can turn that down. We can turn it down to about three. And um, for the noise, we are going to change it from TV static and we're gonna go to white noise. And we're gonna turn this amount up a bit, let's say, right there on the 38 mark. And as we play it, you see you get that kind of grungy, grainy look, film grain look. Looks pretty good so far. All right, now let's go do the same thing with our jet ski scene. So we put it down to about, to about three to the add noise and we go to white noise instead of TV static and we're gonna put it at around 30 oh this film is different so we can the grains coming out a lot so we can just put it at 0.29 every um, clip is gonna be different so just be careful and be aware of that um, so as we go through this we can see Looks pretty good so far. That looks really nice. So what we're gonna do here to just add a little bit of flavor to the clip, we're going to add a transition. So we're gonna go to our lights, we're gonna go to transitions and go to lights. And we're gonna go to flash. This is that look, that film grain look that's in most of the videos nowadays. So what you want to do with the light flash transition is you want to make it as skinny as you possibly can just to make it a quick transition. And so it can be a seamless transition. So now when I play this back, it looks really nice. Awesome. Okay, now that we have that, we're going to highlight all of our clips and we are going to right click and make this a new compound clip. And we can put grain. So after we do this, we're just gonna add the last thing for this video. And we're gonna go to our effects tab and we're gonna type in letterbox. We're gonna drag this on our clip. And as you can see right here, there's a drop down arrow. You can go to 235, anything that uh, that fits your footage, but I'm gonna go 2.35 by one. And now, as you can see, this is a lot more movie-like and more realistic look. So yeah, here's the result. I appreciate you guys watching today. If this video helped you out in any way, please like and consider subscribing because we will be coming out with a lot more videos, tips and tricks in Final Cut Pro to help you out. So subscribe, we are on the road to 400 subscribers. So 
I really appreciate you guys if you guys subscribe, and I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.